Hi, David Thomas here, chiropractor. I thought I'd just do a follow-up video on Zone 2 training. I thought I'd go a bit more into the science this time about the benefits of Zone 2 training and why it does what it does. So the first thing to talk about is mitochondria. So mitochondria are small structures found in most cells within the body. Um, their job is basically to transform uh, food into energy. Exercise can help increase the amount of uh, mitochondria that we have, which makes, me more, makes us more efficient in uh, producing energy. So that's because mitochondria are the only places inside where proteins, fat, carbohydrates can be broken down with oxygen and then produced into energy. Um, so basically the more exercise we do, the more efficient they become, which therefore makes us fitter. So a little bit about muscles. We have uh, two main types of muscles. We have slow twitch, um, which is more your marathon runners, and then you have fast twitch, which can be broken down into two types, 2A and 2B, and they're more of what you think about your sprinters. So the way that um, our muscles usually work is you tend to start off, and you'd usually start off in using slow fibers, um, slow twitch fibers. The faster you get, you'd then switch into uh, fast type 2A, and then you then go into, if you keep staying at that pace, you then go into type 2B, which is your fastest fastest of those fast twitch fibers. So the slow twitch fibers, um, they have the most mitochondrial base in them because they're used to using fat as our energy storage. Uh, type 2A, uh, which is the fast twitch fibers, they have a lower mitochondrial density. And then your type 2B, which is the fastest of the fastest twitch, um, they rely then on as your carbohydrate as that energy source. So at lower paces or your zone two, we tend to use fat as our main energy derivative. However, when you go into the upper value, so zone four, zone five, we find that fat can't be changed quick enough into ATP, which is the energy source. So then the body switches to using a carbohydrate broken down into glycogen as a new energy source. So the other interesting thing that zone two training does is when you're running at that level, um, it actually has been shown that it shows to get rid of lactate better. Um, so once you do your zone four, zone five runs and you have that achy or that dom's feeling or that you got full that lactate inside your muscles, uh, zone two has been shown to help improve, clear that lactate system. So lactate, lactate's a back byproduct of glycogen. So when you do that zone four, zone five stuff, that's when you'll feel the ache afterwards. So basically by, with that zone two, you're staying in the zone before that, you're staying in that working fat, you're not getting that ache, it's a lot slower pace, it's less intensity. Um, but like I said, it's also been shown to sort of clear that lactate, so it can help. That's why people do long runs on a Sunday or they do sort of your slower recovery runs because it helps clear that system. So in those slow twitch muscle fibers, you have something which produces MCT1. Um, that is the, that's used to break down lactate. Um, so basically by training more in zone two, you improve your mitochondrial, you develop better and more MCT1 cells, which means that it gets rid of lactate quicker, um, which means then you can perform better. So like I said before uh, in the previous video, I really think that zone two is a huge, um, possibility of training and I think it's really good for somebody who's looking to build that aerobic base. Um, the other interesting thing with sort of zone two sort of training is I think it should be done with 80-20 um, so 80% 80 of the time you need to be in that sort of um, zone two and then you do 20% of your runs in that zone four, zone five where you're really starting to push those glycogen stores moving those fast twitch fibers. Um, I read something the other day which was like really interesting which was saying that sort of Kenyans you know, they train 80% of the time in zone two and they, they're working at sort of five minute kilometers in their zone two heart rate. And then when they do their faster runs at zone four, zone five, they're then pushing into your sort of two minute 30 kilometers, which is just incredible to think that they can work at five minute pace per kilometer in zone two. And just that's how they do what they do. It's brilliant. Okay, so if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to know, please feel free to ask. Um, Otherwise, please like and subscribe to the page. Cheers, guys.